It's great that people are living longer. It does, of course, uh, raise concerns as it relates to the sustainability of our healthcare system, but uh, there is no reason for panic. We, in fact, have uh, already made a number of uh, in initiatives which will be very helpful, including our investments in home care, which are substantial. It speaks to the fact that we have to transform our healthcare systems to make them more affordable and to make sure we're putting money in the right places uh, in order to address the needs of an aging population. But who's going to pay for the social services. Does it mean the Canadians might have to work longer? Well, you know, we are a government who is uh, very heavily invested on growing our economy, growing the middle class, making sure uh, there's economic growth, there's great job opportunities, a whole bunch of uh, initiatives in our budget related to skills development, uh, related to the fact that as Canadians age, they will need new opportunities for upgrading their skills. So uh, I can point to you areas in the budget that specifically look at the needs, for example, of uh, helping seniors develop skills in the digital uh, workforce and uh, some, some significant investments in that area. So we're, we're very much aware of how the population is changing, how our economy is changing, and uh, Canadians need to be confident that we are well prepared for uh, taking care of uh, the needs of our, our, our growing economy. The challenge is to take full account of the diversity of circumstances in which our seniors are living. They age differently. Many of them need uh, better health care services at home, as we've uh, as we've announced in last year's and this year's budget, also better housing conditions and better income security. That's why we are we have brought back to 65 years old the age of eligibility to old, old age security because many of our seniors depend on that to live uh, in a dignified and secure manner.